Yo guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank River today, and today what we're doing, we are back on Ark Survival Evolved, that's why boys and girls, and what we're doing today, is if you can't hear him behind us, <laughs> talking basically, we are covering the Godzilla Ark um, mod, this mod comes with this gigantic beast right here, um, to be honest, some people doesn't think this guy's a Godzilla, um, but to be honest to me, he is a Godzilla, uh, the reason why, and I'm going to explain this, is because I grew up with him when the actual movie came out and the TV shows came out about this gigantic monster. Um, to me, it was a Godzilla, so, yeah. Um, though, in a way, I guess you could see it in the eyes of American audience and stuff, of it being basically Godzilla. Now, I know the newer versions of Godzilla, oh my goodness, Yes, this is a level 1, and trust me, if you spawn these things at a level 200 and 120, I think it is, uh, I think the health, it, 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 I think it's just a spawning thing, but he is a gigantic monster. Uh, can we get on top of you? There we go. So, let's go into K-Mode and show you guys his face. Right there it is. He just looks so freaking awesome. Um, really do like this guy, and I am probably going to take a lot of fall damage, basically. Yeah. But it does come with him. He is a part of the show, and I'm going to show you guys what he does and stuff. But it also comes with this, the Godzilla Arc Obelisk. Um, it has a lot of health pantry, and it can carry up to 75 stuff in its weight, or storage, now, there's a huge way of doing this, and I'm not real sure how this all goes, because I've really 100% played with this mod too much. But, uh, you do have this, uh, you got this, which, yes, you, I think you have to craft this to be able to craft this. The nuke shell, or actually, no, nuke bomb. I, I think maybe the shell and then the bomb, but you guys go through a long progress of crafting a lot of materials to do it. Um, as you can see, there's that, there's that, 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 and that, and then there's this, and this, and this. You have to craft, I think, each one to get this to actually have the nuke itself. Uh, so, me free, that's how you do it. And then, once you do craft them, you do spawn in the, the nuclear bomb, uh, which is in our inventory right here. No, this is a micro. Micro nuke. Um, no, that's not it. Uh, it's a completely different nuke. Uh, I bet I could show you guys in my inventory, maybe? Or, uh, no. Maybe over here. Uh, Holy crap, he, he's, he's mad. Uh, I think it's down here near the end of all this. Uh, duh, 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 duh. let's see, can we find it? Can we find it? Um... Yeah, where the frick is it? Maybe it's after all the tech ingram should Hmm. Well, you do craft the, the nuke. That's all you do. Um, which, way right here it is. The nuke bomb. Maybe what we'll do. I don't think I can craft it in my inventory. Unless if I go to creative mode, then I can probably like, craft it and stuff. Uh, but simply what you do is that you make the, the, the bomb and then set off somewhere and then it will explode and crap make this guy now this guy as far as my knowledge goes you can't tame him normally what you would do with tank darts and arrows so oh, um, I, I am hungry uh do we have any food around here uh what's craft try for this <laughs> really inconveniency of uh getting hungry i was not thinking my character would get hungry but look at that thing He's just nice to have. Uh, there's a food potion in here somewhere. Let's consume it, and there we go. Okay, now we can get back to where we were going. By. Uh, it does come with this. It's a... what's this thing called? It is a bigger gun. Biggie gun. Um, it launches the mini nukes, which... Well, it's going pretty far. Did it anything? 
I don't think so. Uh, I think as much as my knowledge goes, uh, you do have to shoot them while they're wild once they spawn in, once you launch the nuke. And trust me, they're going to hit you hard. So make sure you're up high or somewhere where he can't get you. And uh, start blasting away these nukes at him because it will start to knock him out because he does have port 4. Apparently these will knock him out and stuff like that. So I think you can craft the mini nukes in here maybe. Uh, that's a nuke, uh, nuclear bomb. I'm not really sure how you get the mini nukes. Mic micro nuke ammo. Um, I'm not seeing it in here, but could be, no, no folder. Okay. I mean, there's just still a lot of things to rediscover about this mod, but, uh, maybe we'll... Uh, maybe that's where it's at. You have to unlock it at um, a tech gram or something, it looks like. So, yeah, uh, as you can see there, it is, looks like it might be a tech gram. You might have to kill a boss. Or you might have to kill him and then unlock it that way. Uh, it might be that way of doing it. If we can find it in here somewhere. I don't see it. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not real sure with everything about this mod. Ah, wait, here it is. There's the gun, there's that, uh, and then there's a couple other resources. I'm not sure. Um, you, you do have to craft this and know that much about crafting everything else. As you can see, it will cost you 25 elements. So that means you do have to fight a boss, 300 metal, 55 obsidian, and 150 stone. Yeah, that's a lot. And like I said, there's a progress to going through all of this. Um, but we'll show you everything in here. As you can see, this right here will cost you two metal, two obsidian. Then you have this, will cost you an artifact one, a magnifying glass one. Then you have this, which is the ACID, uh, will cost you 25 inner gel, uh, two black pearls, 17 oil. Since expansion, uh, three of those and 12 spark power. This will cost you ACID, five of those, metal, just raw metal, uh, 10 and the expansion one. And this right here will cost you a hundred ACIDs, uh, one artifact and 20 expansions. Uh, this right here will cost you 30 expansions, uh, 10 unstable Athier, and then 50 uranium and dust. And then you have this, which is the Arano Forge, uh, will cost you 600 Smith and Pace, six uh, Tracer are three-er, 300 crystal, 3,500 metal, holy crap, 1,200 oil, 850 palmer, and 85 dust. And then make the uh, shell, you need 12 are three-er, 70 helmet, uh, 500 metal, expansion uh, 300, and the ingot 79, I don't even know how to get that. Uh, then you need the bomb itself, which you need the shell, one of those, and one ignot. So that's how the progress goes, as far as my knowledge goes for this mod. And again, you craft this gun. I'm thinking you can craft this gun around inside of this. But what's we'll shoot this? That's not like this much explosion. Uh, but yeah, we have this gun. And this thing actually does show up something else. Right there, with, with the help of uh, Cheese Tropal Player One. Um, sorry if I'm butchering that name pretty badly. And then we have special thanks to Ration Cheetah Gamer. And anything in the back? Yep. Hunter based on Gazza 1998. All right, served by Tira Star. So yeah, uh, this is the 1998 Godzilla American film. And now, we'll show you this level 1 Godzilla. Uh, don't worry, I do have plans on doing other Godzilla mods, or at least the uh, Kaiju mods, or the Monsterverse mods. This guy can also swim, which I guess I can show you guys that real quick. 
they run pretty quickly too. And as you can see, he's swimming pretty well, isn't he? I kind of like this mod. Uh, this is, I guess you could say, I've seen uh, a few YouTubers that I like watching, like uh, Mr. Miola, um, uh, Santac played with this mod before as well. But yeah, this is how beautiful this thing looks. Look how cool this thing looks. Now, there is one thing, and as far as I know, they can't be bred. Like, if you want to breed them and have a overpowered creature like this. As far as my knowledge goes, they're, they don't spawn in as a male or female. But I could be wrong about that. Um, if anybody has played with this mod, please put it in the comments that if they do spawn in as a female male. But if they don't, well, I guess I'm right about it. <laughs> um, but just look how beautiful this guy looks. Like, But you're probably wanting to see what he can do and stuff like that. Well, he has a bite, and then he has this. Yeah, ain't that sweet. A nuclear... <laughs> oh my gosh, I enjoy it. Yeah, it's that C, X, nothing, Z, nothing, uh, nothing on B, nothing on N. I don't think there's any other moves for this big guy, but he is really freaking powerful. Now, I think you're probably all wanting to know about his stats, and that's probably like the biggest thing about this guy. Maybe find something big to kill. Um, I don't think there's anything big around here to kill, but we'll show you guys the stats. Um... I know when I spawned one in, I accidentally spawned one in as a level 120, I think it has like maybe 6 million health and stuff. Uh, I spawned it in with, of course, the Arcanuker, because you can do that with that mod. Uh, just testing it around in this world, but uh, yeah, let's uh, see its stats. So we have, well, I don't really know what that is in its health. I think that might be 2,800,000 or 80,000 or 800,000 into health. Uh, I could be wrong about that. And then we have stamina, 4 million stamina, I'm thinking. Uh, 1,200 into weight, 198.3 into melee. So, yeah, pretty strong guy. Nearly 20, 20 million and the Torpor, and I think he mass reproduces this stuff. Um, active gazer cells uh, can be refined in the honor forge. Do not eat this. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I think this guy produces these two stuff. So I think that actually does like cut out your idea. But first of all, I want to see how much health you get as a level one. Godzilla. Uh, one. 280,000. So it's not really a million health. Uh, thank the gods, because this is a level 1. But yeah, um, that's still a lot of health, isn't it? 280,000 health, 400,000 stamina, I'm thinking, and nearly 1,200 into. Weight and 198.3 into the melee. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Can we find? Oh, there's a turn on. There were 20. Let's see. Can we find something at least to fight to show you guys how much damage this thing does? Like, I think the most thing we should do is at least find something. There's a crocodile over here. What level is that? 102 saltwater crocodile. Um, I do have one question though. Who liked the uh, mod review I did last time? Like, it was about the aquatic watered dinosaurs and stuff. So he does nearly a thousand with per bite for us a level one Godzilla. Yeah, this guy is truly a monster. 
Now, there is other... Let me feed my guy real quick before I go on. There. Okay, like I was saying, this ain't the only Godzilla mod there is. There's others which is much more different of the more newer Monsterverse universe, but, uh, yeah. Oh, and you do guys, of course, a saddle for this big creature. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the saddle or where to unlock its saddle, but it is a nice looking saddle. Uh, if you can see it, it looks like two, like, generators with a few other stuff, all that wrapped around it. I think this guy is just a beautiful creature to have. Um, if you're looking for something big, maybe take on the Titans on Extinction. This guy will be one of your picks. And don't worry, there's more to come. I have more modded um, Kaiju that I'm going to do mod reviews of uh, in the future. So, do keep an eye out for those coming out sometime soon. Um, this is the first one. This is one of the ones I really like. Um, only because this one was out before the others. But still, a really nice mod to have. And something I would enjoy playing. Because I grew up with this guy. Um, so, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this guy, let me know. Uh, do you, Are you going to pick him up? And one other thing too, I can't be certain of any of these mods coming to Ark Ascendant, so please keep that as a pinch of salt. Some of these mods might make it to Ark Ascendant, or some of them might not. Those who will is only do because the mod developers are still, you know, working on the mods. And some of them might not be working on them, I'm not real sure. But uh, definitely... The nice mods, and if you want to know about this mod, or actually pick this mod up if you're playing Arkham PC, um, I will leave the link down below for you guys, like I've always done to each of the mods. And don't worry, I'm going to keep on doing mod reviews for this version of Ark. Uh, I still want to do a lot of things, like I've said, but yeah, uh, we have the Godzilla Ark, or Zilla as some people call them, um, which he was called in a film, um, where he had to fight a Godzilla. But uh, truly, a monster. Yeah. Truly a monster. Really like him. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please leave a like on the video. And subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. For now.